Scene Script Have you ever wondered how the rich keep getting richer? It's a question that has intrigued many of us. The answer, my friends, lies in the power of leverage. Leverage, in the context of wealth creation, is like a secret weapon used by the affluent to multiply their wealth. It's not about working harder. It's about working smarter. It's about using what you already have in a more effective way. The rich know this, and they use leverage to their advantage. They leverage not only their own resources, but also the time, effort, money, and even ideas of others. This principle of leverage isn't confined to traditional business. It's also prevalent in other wealth creation strategies, such as network marketing. The beauty of leverage is that it's a tool accessible to everyone, not just the rich. So, let's delve into the world of wealth creation and unravel the secret of leverage. To comprehend the power of leverage, we first need to understand what it is. So, what is leverage? In its simplest form, leverage is the ability to do more with less. It's like using a lever to lift a heavy object. Without it, the task would be much harder if not impossible. In the context of business and wealth creation, leverage refers to the utilization of resources that you don't personally own to achieve greater results. Let's break this down further. Successful entrepreneurs understand that they can't do everything on their own. They leverage other people's time by hiring employees, outsourcing tasks, or forming partnerships. This allows them to focus on what they do best, while others take care of the rest. Money is another resource that can be leveraged. Entrepreneurs often use other people's money to fund their ventures, whether it's through loans, investors, or other forms of capital. This enables them to start or grow businesses without needing to save up all the necessary funds themselves. Effort is another key aspect of leverage. By creating systems or utilizing technology, entrepreneurs can get more done with less effort. For instance, a software business might leverage the power of automation to deliver a service to millions of customers with minimal human intervention. Finally, entrepreneurs leverage other people's ideas. They don't have to reinvent the wheel. They can build upon existing concepts, learn from others' mistakes, and adapt successful strategies to their own business. This can significantly accelerate their progress and increase their chances of success. So, in essence, leverage is about amplifying your results by harnessing resources beyond your own. It's about working smarter, not harder. And it's a key strategy used by the world's most successful entrepreneurs. Now that we have a basic understanding of leverage, let's see how successful entrepreneurs use it. Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, is an excellent example of someone who used leverage to amass wealth. Let's dive into the story of this financial guru to understand the practical application of leverage. Kiyosaki's journey to wealth wasn't a straight path. He didn't come from a rich family, nor did he win the lottery. His wealth was built over time, using a principle he often talks about, leverage. Kiyosaki discovered the power of leverage early in his career. He realized he could use other people's money, also known as OPM, to invest in real estate. His strategy was simple, yet effective. He would find a promising property, use borrowed money to make the purchase, and then rent the property out. The rental income would cover his mortgage payments, maintenance costs, and still provide a tidy profit. But what made this approach really stand out was the fact that Kiyosaki's investment was not limited by his own financial capacity. By using other people's money, he was able to acquire properties that he couldn't afford on his own. This allowed him to scale his investments rapidly, resulting in exponential wealth growth. However, Kiyosaki didn't stop at leveraging money. He also leveraged time and expertise. He hired property managers to take care of his real estate portfolio, freeing his time to focus on finding more investment opportunities. He didn't need to be an expert in every aspect of real estate because he could leverage the knowledge and skills of others. So, Kiyosaki's wealth wasn't built on extraordinary effort or extreme intelligence. It was built on the principle of leverage, leveraging money, time, and expertise to create an empire. As we can see, Kiyosaki's success didn't come from working harder, but from using leverage. His story shows that with the right understanding and application, leverage can be a powerful tool for wealth creation. And the best part is, anyone can use this principle to their advantage, just like Robert Kiyosaki did. Another perfect example of leveraging is Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft. He's a household name synonymous with success in the tech industry and a testament to the power of leverage. Now, Gates wasn't necessarily the best programmer in the world. Sure, he had a knack for it, but his true genius lay elsewhere. 
It was his ability to envision a future where personal computers would be a mainstay in every home and office, and his knack for gathering talented people around him to make that vision a reality. Early on, Gates recognized that he couldn't do everything on his own. He needed a team, a team of skilled programmers who could turn his vision of a user-friendly operating system into a reality. So he sought out the best minds in the field, people like Paul Allen, Steve Ballmer, and many others. He leveraged their time, their skills, their expertise, and their passion for technology to build a product and a company that would change the world. But Gates didn't stop at leveraging people's skills. He also leveraged their ideas. He fostered an environment where innovation was encouraged, where every team member could contribute their unique insights and perspectives. This collective brainpower led to groundbreaking products like Windows and Office Suite, which continue to dominate the market to this day. Gates also leveraged money. He understood the value of reinvesting profits back into the company to fuel growth. This allowed Microsoft to stay ahead of the competition, continuously innovate, and expand into new markets. And finally, Gates leveraged time. He realized that time was a finite resource and used it wisely. He prioritized tasks that would have the most significant impact on the company's future, leaving the rest to his capable team. In essence, Gates didn't build Microsoft alone. He leveraged the time, skills, ideas, and money of others to create a tech empire and amass a fortune. Gates' story demonstrates how leveraging other people's skills can lead to unimaginable wealth. Network marketing is another area where the power of leverage is clearly visible. Just like how a lever allows you to lift a heavy object with minimal effort, network marketing enables you to generate income through the collective efforts of your team. Here's how it works. Network marketing is a business model where you build a network of distributors or partners. You sell products or services and so does your network. Now, here's where the leverage comes in. You earn not only from your own sales but also from the sales made by your network. Imagine having a team of 10, 20, or even 100 individuals, all generating sales. You're benefiting from the cumulative efforts and sales of your entire network, not just your own. It's like having multiple streams of income flowing into your bank account. Network marketing, therefore, presents an accessible way for many people to start leveraging for wealth creation. So, what have we learned today about leverage and wealth creation? We've unraveled the concept of leverage, a principle that's simple, yet profound in its impact. It's this very principle that has propelled many to the pinnacle of wealth. Leverage, as we've seen, is not about exerting more effort, but about maximizing the potential of available resources. Through the stories of Robert Kiyosaki and Bill Gates, we've witnessed firsthand how leverage can be used to amass wealth. Kiyosaki leveraged his financial literacy, transforming it into an empire of books, games, and seminars. Gates, on the other hand, leveraged his software expertise and the time of his skilled team to create Microsoft, a company that has shaped the digital world. One thing to note from these case studies is that leverage extends beyond just money. It's about leveraging time, effort, ideas, and even other people's resources. It's about understanding that you don't have to do everything yourself. Instead, you can harness the abilities and resources of others to reach your goals faster. We've also delved into the world of network marketing, a realm where leverage is king. In network marketing, the power of leverage is magnified as you not only benefit from your efforts, but also from the efforts of those in your network. It's a perfect illustration of how the principle of leverage can be applied to create wealth. In essence, leverage is the key to working smarter, not harder. It's about understanding that in the grand scheme of things, your time, effort, and resources are finite. But by leveraging, you can amplify your impact and reach, paving the way for wealth creation. So, start thinking about how you can apply the principle of leverage in your life. Look around you and identify the resources that you can leverage. Remember, the road to wealth is not always about creating something new, but often about recognizing and utilizing what's already there. Remember, the secret to wealth is not necessarily working harder, but working smarter by leveraging resources around you.